During the version 2.4 special program, we got a glimpse of the upcoming characters' kits. Yunli, Zhao Xu, and March 8th are joining Honkai Star Rail's roster in the next update. Yunli and Zhao Qiu seem like promising characters. Yunli's gameplay reminds me of Beidou from Genshin Impact with her counter mechanic, while Zhao Chu looks like someone who focuses heavily on stacking debuffs. Counter, follow-up attacks, and basically anything that gives characters extra actions are becoming more relevant these days, so I think Yunli will fit well in the current meta. On the other hand, I've also heard many good things about Zhao Chu. Many players say he is the best support for Acheron's team, which is one of the strongest team in the game at the moment. Being able to secure a spot in such a team means he's going to be fine as well. If those five-star characters are your target, I wish you good luck. However, if you're planning to skip version 2.4 like I am, there is one character I highly recommend to try. March 7th will get a path switch feature in version 2.4, allowing players to change her into a hunt character. Since she is a free character, everyone will have access to the Hunt version. The process to change her path is quite simple. It is similar to how we change MC's path. Now I'll let you in on a little secret about this character. I've tried her out on the Early Access server, and she's incredibly good. As a March 7th main, I was skeptical about this system because we know how good she is as a sustain. If Hoyoverse want to sell this Hunt version, they need to maintain her quality. And we all know that there is a lot of competition in this path. We have this guy, this dude, this girl, this monster. If Hunt March 7th isn't special, she'll be completely washed right off the bat. However, it turns out Hoyoverse is genius. They managed to integrate Preservation March 7th strengths into Hunt March 7th in a very creative way. I'm sorry, my pronunciation is getting messy. Let's call Preservation March 7th, March 7th, and Hunt March 7th, March 8th to make it easier. March 7th is great because she's relevant in almost any battle as long as the enemy isn't immune to Freeze. In Honkai Star Rail, Freeze is probably the best form of crowd control, and March 7th is a master at it. Yes, you have to invest a significant amount of effect hit rate, which will take a while to achieve, but once you reach that point, you'll enjoy her service. You will be able to do cool things like some that I have demonstrated on my channel that no other sustains can do. Another reason behind March 7th's strength is that she's excellent at depleting toughness bars through counterattacks when facing enemies weak to ice. In a break team, her counterattack helps a lot in speeding up the break speed. These strengths carry over to March 8th, and the way they did it is beautiful. I can't disclose everything until the early access period starts, but I guarantee you're going to love it. Initially, I was afraid March 8th won't stand a chance against Dr. Ratio, who is also a free imaginary hunt. But Dr. Ratio is a literal monster. This guy is very strong. I doubt a four-star character like March 8th would be able to hold herself against him. However, that thoughts has completely disappeared now. She doesn't care about elements, can fill multiple roles, and allows for creative freedom, making her relevant in various battles. And she's still good at depleting toughness bars. We'll have fun in the early access showcases because you have to see it yourself. For now, this is all I can tell you. Since I'm skipping both Yunli and Zhao Qiu, my focus is 100% on March 8th, 